So while we while we wait uh, um, for the presentation, uh, just to uh, say you that I will uh, jump, I will skip some slides that you can find in the presentation if you are interested, just to recover some time. Also because we had already the occasion to present ShareVD as initiative in the occasion of SWIB uh, in uh, uh, two years ago with uh, a presentation by Ian Bigelow uh, of the University of Alberta, uh, who had the occasion to speak about ShareVD. And the last year with Michele Casalini, who presented a lighting talk about the project. So I prefer to go ahead and to arrive uh, directly to the so to the core of the of the presentation without slide yes and uh, led by um, Casalini Libre and that cult with the contribution of uh, different uh, library communities. And this is uh, the shared family map around the world uh, right now. And uh, due to uh, with uh, the uh, participating institutions, uh, the last one that uh, I am very happy to present you is uh, the National Library of Norway and uh, the National Library of Finland that joined the project uh, some a uh, time ago in the uh, they are the last one so due to the very uh, large number of libraries uh, we are managing in the initiative more than one um, uh, one hundred million of uh, bibliographic record and 40 50, um, million of authority records so the community decided to organize itself in a different way and so we move from the share vd initiative to the share family and in the share family right now we comprise the share vd the share catalog that is the italian network of university libraries share art the Kubikat load the project that include uh, the art history libraries of the Max Planck Institute and Share Music that is a pilot project uh, to test the technology and the philosophy of share uh, with, uh, in the music domain. So due to the large participating and uh, um, different kind of data, um, we decided to propose a different architecture uh, to manage a different situation, so a, a complex architecture that is uh, um, that has uh, the cluster knowledge base uh, in the center. Uh, Sapientia is the name of the cluster knowledge base, and uh, the the sentence for uh, the best sentence for Sapienza cluster knowledge base is uh, the richer the better. Uh, this means that uh, each tenant uh, we have uh, right now the share VDS tenant, the share heart, share musing. Probably we are thinking uh, to a tenant for uh, national libraries uh, and uh, so different kind of tenant in relation to different scope, different nature of the library libraries uh, and each one, each tenant can manage its own uh, uh, graph uh, with bibliographic data but take part in the Sapientia that is the cluster knowledge base. Sapienza is the authoritative uh, source of entities and is created with uh, the cooperation of all tenants and of course uh, very important with external sources. I listed here some of external sources such as VF, ISNI, Labro Congress, FAST, OCLC. So all together try to give relevance and importance to this authoritative uh, system. And so uh, the, 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 the community decided to define an advisory council that has a role to provide insight and analysis of the Bib frame, mark to Bib frame transformation, to give 
give a recommendation, to manage the project documentation, and to lead different uh, subcommittees focused on specific areas. This is uh, just a list of some of these uh, working of our task group. The last one is uh, an automatic update processes task group uh, that is testing the automatic process uh, to update the data. But one of the most active group is the cluster knowledge base maintenance working group, uh, who is defining uh, the role of J Cricket. J Cricket is the will be the editor to manage the cluster knowledge base, so Sapienza, to update data, to create new clusters, to manage clusters, and so the group has the scope to define use cases for the, the J Cricket, to define the various scenarios and so on. And this is just a, a diagram to illustrate how uh, J Cricket can interact with the Sapienza, the cluster knowledge base, with the different action, so to create a new cluster, to modify, to validate, to merge, to split, and each kind of changing is reported in the URI registry that has the role to, um, to uh, assure the persistence of URI and uh, to define, to give all information. And the URI registry will be also available in RDF. So what we are trying to manage is a complex workflow where we have not only the automatic uh, uh, update coming from a delta of data, uh, usually libraries send us the delta, um, but also in the future the all changes produced by Jack Cricket as an editor in this complex workflow. And so the role of the URI registry becomes central because in here we can uh, uh, trace all kinds of changes and make aware and give notice uh, to all the external words that use uh, the URIs uh, of the project. So this is uh, some uh, kind of uh, use cases that are listed uh, and that create some changing in the URI registry and uh, this column is for automatic uh, changing and this one is for manual change that will be done using jQuery. And so due to the large amount again of data and also uh, to different kind of libraries, uh, the last one, the National Library of Finland and Norway that use uh, a different data model that is LRM as main data model, uh, the group started some reflection about how to manage this complex data model. And the topics that the group is discussing are the most important topics are two, that is the definition of work. What means for ShareVD to manage an entity as a work? And how manage the instances? Because as I will show you after the instance in this moment, uh, represent the description of each library for a publication. So the reflection starts from the BibFrame 2.0 data model that probably you know, that have has work instance and item as main uh, entities. And uh, we are now focused on entity definition in BibFrame. And we are waiting to have uh, the hub definition because in January 2019, so very recently, Recently, the Library of Congress decided to test a new entity on top of the hierarchy that is the hub to be more close to LRM and to share VD model. So we are waiting the definition. And so we uh, include in our analysis the LRM data model that is a bit more complex, but now we are focused on main entities such as work expression and manifestation and item and uh, to, to define, to, to better understand from a semantical viewpoint uh, what is the entity definition of this model. And so our reflection, our thoughts are related to BibFrame versus LRM. 
IBM and how they propose the entity and their organization. So the group started this analysis, tried to define better the definition for the entity as work in ShareVD, and that is equivalent to a BIB framework, but is no longer the highest level of ab abstraction and uh, the super work uh, in ShareVD. The high levels of abstraction in ShareVD data model, that is uh, the new super work class uh, that is meant to aggregate or grab group, functional or near equivalent BF work clusters. But this is just a first definition about this, and um, this first definition produce uh, sub-reflection about the general model of ShareVD. This is the current ShareVD entity model. I will come back to it after. And so the, the question uh, seeing to this model, uh, the second question was, OK, how we can manage instances in a shared environment? And uh, instance versus manifestation is something simple, because from a semantical viewpoint, the two entities uh, are Mm, quite equivalent in both model of BIB frame and manifestation. But the application of the semantic become a bit more complicated in a wider context as ShareVD, uh, where an instance is not really identified as an entity, but as a description of an entity made by a particular institution. And the proof of this is uh, uh, relevant is evident in the URI that is created for each instance where you find the source of the record that is the institution that created the original record so uh, still thinking in mark and not in entity and the identified the original identify of the record so this means that we have just a representation of an entity a description of an entity and so the Share Advisory Council uh, with its subcommittees uh, starting this analysis uh, to understand how to move from a description to an entity layer. And uh, so this is the presentation of uh, the actual, uh, the current Share VD model. And uh, this is uh, a proof of what I tried to say to you before. That is, uh, this is an example of the same instance, Hamlet Prince of Denmark. Uh, uh, that is represented in two different uh, libraries uh, with the two uh, sort of two uh, or, 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 or duplication of information, and so this discussion uh, was uh, um, was built in a first draft uh, of a dis of a document that is uh, the instance as a master instance, and why a master instance as a logical concept, and not. At, at the end as a, a real entity, because uh, in case we need uh, to use all uh, uh, attributes uh, that come from each description, uh, so that means from each bibliographic record, and put together to create an instance. And important is the, in this model is uh, to underline that each triple will have the provenance for each library. This means that the library, each library will be at the end of the process able with an application profile, for example, to retrieve specifically the triples of own interest, of its interest to rebuild the, the, uh, the entity with its specific data. And in this model is also important to have uh, uh, the instance and the link with uh, uh, items. So in the future, we will lead the uh, item also as an instance, as an entity. So the group chooses uh, for two different models, an option one uh, that, that has the instance um, uh, as a BIB frame proposed. And the key concept of this model is that the 
instance assume a shared VDID and uh, uh, does not reflect the owner but is uh, really an instance and uh, they decided also to analyze an option two where uh, uh, we don't have only the instance but the master instance as an entity and linked to the instance but some problems uh, uh, and, and should be uh, solved to manage this kind of new scenario and for example to define a specific predicate something like has description to express the relationship between the master instance and the instance so the good news is that at the end the group decided to have the option one with the instance and not with the master instance and this was accepted and so this is the future share vd model simplified but of course uh, uh, we so uh, can start from the the end but as a beginning and so we can compare finally the three model the LRM, BibFrame and ShareVD and uh, the reflection again start to give semantic to this concept of, sh of super work and instance because defining a new entity in a semantic world is not something that concerns a word how to assign a label to a description but is something that concerns a meaning so we are trying to start in another uh, uh, way. So think having in mind the starting point that is still Mark 21 by trying to forget it and going to the meaning of entity. So we start again from the model and so BF work with its properties and uh, from LRM with work and expression and its properties and the relationship. And we are waiting to to discover how Library of Congress will solve this uh, uh, definition in a semantic way. So which kind of properties will move from the work to the hub? And uh, having in mind this scenario, we are trying to design something where the shared VD super work will be something more close to hub or more close to work. This will be decided and will be discussed and hissed in discussion. But but just the last thing to better identify an entity because the cluster knowledge base is a cluster knowledge base of entities, we are trying also to better identify the relationship between agent and different entities. And so we start an, an entity detection as a natural language analysis of data. So a long list in this example to express, for example, the author of introduction, uh, uh, studying, analyzing, the tag 245 subfield C and to arrive finally to better identify the agent and its role uh, in relation with uh, the entity. And all this kind of thoughts, reflection, analysis uh, became a, another document that is just a, a, a recap of a conversation that is a super work versus work versus hub. Thank you. Thank you, Tiziana. Um, now it's time to ask questions from the audience or comments. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a question about the almost the last slide you showed that list uh, which makes a correspondence to this 245C to uh, an agent. Is it a public data or can we use it, reuse it? Um, this is a long process of uh, manual analysis and uh, data extraction for the record. And uh, we are trying to improve this knowledge base, what we mean as a knowledge base of roles, uh, with automatic processes, but also with the manual analysis of each 
cases. And consider that in these slides is not presented all columns for all languages, but we have a translation for uh, I think 100 different kind of languages uh, to improve this knowledge base. And this means that after with an automatic process, the machine, we try to learn to machine how to use this text and how starting from this test arrive to define a relator term and a relator code. So is a, a, a machine learning process that is uh, partial manual and partial automatic. Thank you. I don't know is, if this answers your question. Yeah, uh, I, I was wondering if, if, I mean, you probably have a lot of lines in that Excel sheet. And could we, because we uh, had the same, want to do the same kind of since a very long time, but that's a lot of work. And I, we were wondering if we could reuse that term to relator matching. I, is it available? Oh, right now this kind of knowledge base is still uh, not available for uh, to be shared, but uh, probably in the future uh, it will be, because this is something that is uh, the result of a larger contribution from, from the community, so in this case uh, we will put available for a wider community. Because also because also in this case, as for the cluster knowledge base, the richer the better. So if uh, the community a larger community can contribute, including some text, this is the better. So in the future it will be probably. Thank you very much.